Hey Leo, it's Tara Lynn. I'm an empath and psychic. Today's video is going to be a message that you need to hear. So regardless of where this sign is in your birth chart, as long as it's in your birth chart and you feel drawn to watch this video, it's going to have a message for you. So for your cards, you have the Eight of Swords reversed, Seven of Coins reversed, Ace of Swords reversed, Four of Cups, the High Priestess, the Magician, Queen of Coins, the Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Cups, and Four of Wands. So Leos, what I'm sensing for you, I get a super positive message for you. And I really feel like this is a breakthrough for you because of the Ace of Swords. And so the first thing I wanna point out is your reverse cards. So you have the Eight of Swords and you have the Seven of Coins. And so the Eight of Swords reversed is really giving me an energy of you waking up to things you've seen, how you have been sabotaging yourself or holding yourself back and you are waking up to it. And I really feel like with the Seven of Coins, this is saying that whatever routine you have been doing or something where you've been working working towards a sort of goal, you have kind of realized that you didn't want this goal in the first place. It's like you were working towards it for reasons that just don't make sense to you anymore. And it can be that you were doing it for the wrong reasons or the wrong motivations, or maybe it was to please others, but it really feels like whatever is going on just doesn't feel authentic to you anymore. And you have become aware of it. It also could be that you have changed, that you have gone through something recently that has changed your perspective on things. And as a result, it has changed what you wanted out of life. And what I'm being told for you is with the four of cups this is confirmation that it's like you saw another opportunity you have a new way that you can live your life or a new goal that you can chase and you're like why not like why am I holding myself onto this thing that I don't truly want anymore and I feel like this is super positive for you Leos I really get the sense that this is a needed change in your life that it's going to help change the direction of your life because this is authentic this is what you're meant to do and I feel like a lot of this change has to do with your life purpose and who you are going to become and grow into because you have the high priestess so this is telling me that this is an intuitive change for you that this is something that is correct for you and so I really get the sense that there's going to be a big breakthrough if there hasn't been already where there's a whole shift in your energy I feel like if any of you have felt stuck or stagnant or almost like you're the victim in a situation I think you're going to be taking your power back and you're going to be overcoming it and so it's not saying that that thing didn't suck or that it wasn't a bad situation but you're not allowing the situation to define you anymore. You're not letting your past hold you back. You're not letting your beliefs hold you back. And I really sense that you are becoming the magician of your own life. I really get the sense that this is going to create all new opportunities to come into your life where you are having the life that you want. You're going to have the relationship you want, the family you want, the home you want, the career you want. You're going to be able to achieve the goals that you want. And I really feel like this is going to be a really good time in your life where you're feeling positive, you're feeling confident. And with the queen of coins, this is telling me if you have been having issues financially or if you are not sure what you want to do with your career or if you feel like you're so dependent on someone else for finances you are going to get financial independence you are going to attract money you are releasing self-limiting beliefs when it comes to how much money you can make or how much you can charge for your career I sense some of you you could be changing careers and starting your own business or working for yourself and I feel like that's going to be a really good change for you and you have the wheel of fortune so this is indicating luck is on your side karma is on your side things are working in your favor and you are taking control of your life and working with this good energy to bring a needed shift into your life. I also get the sense with the Eight of Cups, this is confirmation that you are walking away from something, that you are leaving all things behind that you no longer need because you are achieving your Four of Wands. This is literally telling me that everything's going to come together. And so if you've been a little bit fearful that if you make this change, you're not going to be able to get the goals you want in life, don't worry about that. You are going to have good things happen to you because the Four of Wands is the success. It's about family. It's about really being connected with who you are and being fulfilled and happy by your life and celebrating life. And I really feel like that's what's going on for you Leos right now is that you have all these energies pushing you forward where you are able to break free and see things in a new light that you weren't able to see before. And you're getting these new perspectives and these new ideas with these breakthroughs. And so whatever you've been going through, I feel like it has taught you how to become stronger and how to actually become resilient and how to actually become aware where you are taking accountability for your own life. I feel like that's a really big shift for you Leos right now is that it's not so much things that are brand new information, but it's more like you are actually accepting the information and taking accountability for your life and realizing like, hey, this thing I'm working towards, why am I working towards it? What is it bringing to my life? And questioning if you actually want it. And when you realize that was no, you're allowing yourself to move on. And so I feel like you Leos, it's time to declutter your life. Make sure you're not holding
holding on to anything that you don't want because that's only going to hold you back. And once you break through your own self-limiting beliefs and you realize you don't need to hold on to things just because you put time or energy into them, you are going to see that you have new opportunities open up to you. And so don't feel like there's anything you can't do because with the magician, this is saying that you're resourceful. You are working with the things you have and maybe you don't have everything yet. But if you work with what you have, you can turn that into something else and then it's going to have a snowball effect where it's growing and growing. And I really get the sense that there is going to be a good career or money as a result of this. I feel like you are attracting good things and abundance into your life. And as a result, you are being more confident with who you are and you're being a lot more stable. I feel like it might be difficult for you to feel like you really have a solid foundation in life where it kind of feels like you have all these goals, but your life isn't coming together the way you wanted it to. And I really feel like this is confirmation that you are laying the foundation for your life by making this change where you are going to see that you are bringing in more stable and secure opportunities where you are having the love life you want. You are having true friendships. You are being authentic. You are feeling confident. You are getting the career you want and you are able to feel successful and fulfilled within your own life without chasing what other people want for you. And so I really get the sense for you Leos that right now is a really good time. Work with the energy. If you feel inspired by something, use it. If you're having breakthroughs, listen to that breakthrough. Do something with it. Don't wait on your ideas because now is the time to create. Now is the time to change and adapt and to grow. And I feel like if you work with this energy, the sky's the limit for you and you're going to have so many good things happen. And don't be afraid about walking away from things that no longer serve you. That's really going to do you good because I feel like that's your current block right now. You're holding on to things that you don't want. And I really feel like it comes down to putting time and energy into it because of the seven of coins. And what I'm being told for you, it's like you put in all this time and energy and you already know it's not leading to the results you want. So stop wasting time because you're never going to get time back and think of it as one less day that you didn't spend wasting time on it. Because I feel like that's something that holds a lot of people back. And you got to realize that excuse is only ever going to grow because it's only ever going to be more time. And so you got to put your foot in the sand and draw that line where you say enough's enough and I got to listen to my intuition. I have to stop doing this because it's not what I want. And I really feel like you are going to be able to do that. And I really feel like if you've been ignoring your intuition, you're going to have some sort of wake up call where you are facing what your intuition has been telling you. You're seeing the truth of the situation and you're like, you know what? I surrender. I give in. I'm going to listen to you. And the moment you do that, I feel like it's going to be such a great breakthrough for you. And I really get the sense for a lot of you Leos that some of you are watching this and it hasn't started to happen yet. And you're like, no, it's fine. This message isn't for me. This is about someone else. Because for me, I'm doing everything fine. It's okay. I don't need to worry about my problems. I'm, I'm fully listening to my intuition and what the universe is telling you, it's like, yes, you're saying that, but there are some things about your life that you're trying to brush aside that you're not trying to deal with. And spirit is telling you, if you don't deal with them now, if you don't take accountability, you're going to be forced to because the wheel of fortune, yes, it's saying luck is on your side, but sometimes that luck that we want, it forces us to face the harsh reality. And so just because something is good for you doesn't mean we always want to do it and doesn't make it easy. So I really feel like that's something to keep in mind is that if you're not taking this time now to reflect and if you're trying to ignore your intuition then this is going to end up being something that affects you a lot deeper and it's still going to be good for you it's going to be a blessing but it might not feel that way at first so that's just a warning on that but I feel like for the rest of you where you are open to listening to your intuition you're just confused on what to do right now and just give it a little bit more time because there is a breakthrough coming and I feel like there might be a situation at first where you got to see that you are holding yourself back or that a situation is not going to plan so that you can have this wake up call because sometimes we need to go through things to have the lesson because if you don't face the energy of the eight of swords or the seven of coins you're not going to have that knowledge that you need to overcome that lesson so there's not going to be a breakthrough to be had you have to go through it so you can have that breakthrough and that can be your catalyst so I really feel like that's going to be your catalyst is holding on to something that you shouldn't and having to learn to let it go and having to learn how to take accountability for yourself so I would say really be prepared for major changes in your life it might feel like things are falling apart after but if you just listen to your intuition it's gonna feel right for you and you're gonna find some sort of peace through this and you're gonna create the reality that you want so just know that whatever goes on it's going to be a blessing for you even if it doesn't feel that way because this is what's meant for you so you can become authentic and so I'm really just sending you all so much love and light as you're going through this I want to say if you want to get your own private reading I do sell them you can check out my Etsy shop or you can message me on Facebook or Instagram everything's gonna be linked in the description box down below and if you're not already subscribed 
way, please do so. I would love to have you a part of this family. Also, turn on that bell notification so you see when I post my next video. I post multiple videos a week, including more Zodiac readings like this. I also post collective readings and pick a pile readings, and I post unboxing videos to different tarot and oracle decks, including the tarot deck that I use for today's reading. I'm going to have the video where I unbox this in the cards above, along with other videos of mine that you can watch next. And I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Have a good one. Bye.